This is Kip Stewart, Chief Improvement Officer with Baptist Memorial Healthcare. Today, once again, we look at these three helpful questions. And when it comes to the voice of the process, we focus on this third question. How will you know when you have accomplished your challenge? The voice of the customer or the challenge is given in the forms of goal, objectives, budgets, targets, desired pattern of work, and they're all in some sense definitions of what the customer wants, whether that be an internal customer or an external customer. They tend to be needs-based or what must we achieve. Then we look at the current condition in light of that challenge. We go on to look at the next target condition. The magic word there is the word next because it implies there are multiple target conditions on our way to the challenge. Then we start experimenting our way through the obstacles on the way to the target condition and ultimately towards the challenge. This is what we call a meta routine. It stays the same regardless of the circumstances. It's a routine way of acting and thinking. So we see here on the screen a process behavior chart of OR turnaround time for a hospital. Now what we have is a run chart of the operating room turnaround time for each month, and then we have calculated natural process limits, those red dash lines on both sides of the average. That's that solid green line on the screen. Now we have created what is known as the process behavior chart, which is the voice of the process. The process behavior chart allows you to differentiate between routine, normal variation and exceptional variation. Remember, the voice of the customer defines what you want from a system, but the voice of the process defines what you will get from a system. It is management's job to work to bring the voice of the process into alignment with the voice of the customer. Now, initially, the goal or the challenge was 35 minutes. This is what the customer wanted. You can see the process will only hit that goal, though, every once in a while. This process must be fundamentally changed to align the voice of the process with the voice of the customer of 35 minutes. If you've watched any of the previous four introduction voice of the process videos, you know that the process behavior chart allows you to characterize the behavior of your process as being either predictable or unpredictable. And when a process is predictable, like this one, the process behavior chart defines what you can expect in the future. The process average is likely to continue to be the same, and the future values may fall anywhere within those natural process limits, those red dash lines defined by the chart. And when a process is operated predictably, it is operating as consistent as possible. Now you might ask yourself, what makes up all that variation? Within this process, we have behaviors, habits, or routines, standards, or a lack of standards, characteristics. We can ultimately call that the pattern of work. Or I like to sometimes say, how are we playing the game? So in May of 2016, this team started the Improvement Kata. They started running daily experiments, and sometimes even twice a day, against obstacles to their target condition, and there were multiple target conditions on their way to their challenge of a turnaround time of 35 minutes. Now, as the pattern of work was altered, you can see the process behavior start, chart start to give you a signal. That's rule number two of exceptional variation. Remember, rule number two is when eight or more successive values fall on the same side of the central line. That's that initial solid green line new patterns of work were being created or a new norm had been established. So then we recalculated the limits and you can see that the new process was now predictable and consistent. On any given month, the process will produce an OR turnaround time anywhere between 31 minutes and 21 minutes. But on the average, it will produce an OR turnaround time of 26 minutes. The process was now predictably aligned to the voice of the customer of a goal of 35 minutes. But eventually, like all goals, this goal changed to 21 minutes. So the next step was in November of 2017 when the team started using TWI job instructions to help create a standard, or a better way of saying it is a standard behavior on various tasks. Now this countermeasure 
in addition to other countermeasures, had a huge impact on the pattern of work and the process behavior chart, or the voice of the process, once again provided a signal to them with eight or more successive values below the solid green line. And a new pattern of work was once again created or a new norm had been established. The process is now once again aligned to the new goal or voice of the customer. Each and every signal on a process behavior chart represents an opportunity to gain more insight into your process. If you remember, there are two principles to understand data. You can hit pause to look at these. And there's also two mistakes that we also make when analyzing data, and you can also hit pause to look at these. There are three things that most people do when they proceed to go after a goal. They can work to improve the system if they know how. Many times, unintentionally, uh, they will end up distorting the system or distorting the data. Here are three great resources, and until next time, Show me your thinking.